Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. I want to introduce you to the uh, wife's new hoopty. Uh, it's a little escapade. Hi kitty. Oh, you're getting so big. Now let's figure out what's wrong with this little thing. Uh, these are the battery fans on the uh, little escapade that I picked up. Um, of course, they're dead. A little maintenance garbage. Uh, we're going to do tie rod ends on it here pretty quick. Um, as soon as it cleans up enough, I can put one of the hot rods out in the driveway. But I'm not going to show you how to get these fans out because there's a couple of good videos out there. But what we are going to do is eyeball this motor so these are basically a three phase brushless motor so you've got the coils on the outside permanent magnets on the inside and then what there is is basically these are a bunch of MOSFETs underneath this heatsink that's going to trigger the DC voltage between the different coils and there are one one, two, three, four, five, six leads coming out. So that's basically three phase, and they're wired in a Y configuration, I believe. So these guys are dead. I couldn't get them to spin up at all. First check this guy down right there. It's labeled as F1 as a fuse. We got continuity check. And if we go across this guy. No continuity. But if we go from here to there, we have continuity. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this surface mount fuse. Oh, yeah, you just square it up a little bit. I'm going to remove that surface mount fuse. I've got some inline fuse holders coming. We're going to put it in that red lead so we can get to it and play with it easier without disassembling everything in the world. But uh, let's see what we can do about getting that little fuse off. Looks like it's going to be a mess. Well, their conformal coating is rather stiff, not too gummy. So maybe we can get some of that off and then we can try to bridge that over. Alright, well, let's see if we can get that little bastard off of there. There we go. Okay. Now we need to tin a little piece of wire. There we go. One jumper uh, fuse. Of course, we're going to have to uh, protect it another way, but we can do that. I'm going to try to experiment with just seeing if it'll spool up on a battery. So let's try that. All right, so first thing I noticed was that MOSFET pack underneath that heat sink is the first thing to get hot so we're gonna play with this a little bit see if we can't get it to just spin which is probably not good because apparently by the sources uh, on the uh, escapade site red is power constant black is ground which I verified in the car all right so Special thanks to B Tarb24 on the uh, Green Hybrid site. He's the first one to dart, start digging into one of these. Uh, he says that the blue wire is linked to both the key as well as battery conditions. So that's probably the trigger to fire it off. Now the first thing I noticed when I applied 12 volts 
to the red and the black is ground is that this heat sink component started getting nice and warm and I can look in there and see that one of those legs has turned a, a darker straw colored so it is probably fried but let's see what happens when I apply 12 volts and then trigger that nothing yep that's getting warm alright so it looks like that guy oh yeah there's a little bit of a, a little bit of stank coming off of it so it looks like mine is already smoked Let's see if you can see in there. You can see that one straw colored lead. I bet you it's already burnt. It almost looks like the board got a little crispy in there too. Let's see if we can... Yeah, there you go. So anyways, I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything today. I think I am going to buy a couple of those. And then I'm going to try to desolder. So here's those posts with the coil soldered to them. And I got my solder wick out, so I might try to desolder those and see how I do about getting this board off of here and leaving the motor intact. Well, that didn't go too bad. Let's see if I can't give you a little view of how I managed to do this. First step, wick as much off as you possibly can. And I just kind of start to unwind it, these motor windings. There we go. All right, four more to go. Well, oh, dang it. I broke one of them off. That's all right. Let's have a peek. This guy. I don't think you're going to be able to see. But that board is a bit crusty. And, yeah, you can definitely see the... Uh, discoloration on that lead so I think mine's shorted as a matter of fact it's still warm so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get that guy off of there looks like the heat sink is screwed to the chip so they may have soldered it in before they put that heat sink on or put the heat sink on before they soldered it in so I'm going to see about getting that guy off of there And in case you've never seen one, we have a solder sucker. You will get it warmed up, and it's cocked. And trip it, and then plunger the old schmoo out. Do it a couple times. Oh, well, fighting chance of getting that off of there. Now I forget that. Pretty sure that that little guy's dead. So I'm just going to snipple his little legs off. And then clean the holes up later. That way I don't damage the board. i get, I got to get some of that conformal coating off of it. i got it goobered on there. 6AM15. Yep, looks like it. Those can be had. The original ones still can be had. Uh, looks like sh slow boat from the uh, usual scumbags. Um, or we may have converted to a different one that we can get at DigiKey. Um, I'll see about linking those uh, 
in the description. And uh, maybe I'm going to try to order some of those up and see about... Yeah, you can tell mine got hot. Look at that. But the board still looks good. I don't think I lost any other parts off of it, so... Hopefully. Well, we're going to give that a shot, so stand by.